CryptoZoo.co. I am so excited about this project. It's, it's, it's so fun. It's a really fun game that makes you money. A fun game that earns you money. How much did you guys make from CryptoZoo? I lost around $50,000 in CryptoZoo. I lost $40,000. I lost around 15,000 US dollars. I lost $25,000. $120,000. $500,000. And what did Mr. Logan Paul respond after he scammed his fans with CryptoZoo for millions and millions of dollars? Sorry, me no speak English. Today, we're going to add one more situation to the list of Logan Paul's embarrassments. Because he just sued CoffeeZilla for defamation, asking for $75,000 and his lawyer fees. No, I'm not talking about last year when CoffeeZilla dropped a three-part series of exposing Logan Paul of what kind of a piece of shit he is. And in January of 2023, Logan Paul made this video. You still published a defamatory hit piece, fully knowing I was innocent, just so you could enrich yourself in your $10 million studio. Sharp, but deeply unethical, dangerously misleading, and illegal. I suggest you use the money you got from pumping your Patreon to hire a good lawyer. Lastly, CoffeeZilla, I now know your motives with this. Clout and money, good for you, but also your, your slimiest. We're gonna handle this ourselves while we continue to build CryptoZoo and I'll see you in court. He only did it for money and clout. He actually doesn't care about the people that got scammed in the CryptoZoo. He only wants to up his reputation and put some moolah on his bank. I mean, it's not like Logan Paul does disgusting, heinous things just for views. It's only him, CoffeeZilla. Anyone talks about Logan Paul, they are chasing for views. They are liars. All of them are liars. But when I do it, guys, it's entertainment. Guys, it, it, it's the real thing. And just a little bit later after he dropped that, that video, to CoffeeZilla calling him a liar and telling him I will see you in court bitch he just dropped this video CoffeeZilla is not a criminal I called him I apologized uh, my initial response to his series was that of, of, of fire uh, an ego flare whatever it is pride I'm a fighter at heart and uh, I was defensive because I know I never scammed anyone with this project I never made any money never sold any tokens and I only had the best intentions going in um, but the fact is that suing CoffeeZilla is not going to help CryptoZoo holders, so I do need to focus my attention where it should be, which is on fans and supporters of me. You guys mean the world to me, so I'd like to announce my three-step plan moving forward. Step one. I'll save you some time. They took millions and millions of dollars from that project from all of his fans who supported them all this time, and he only gave back $1.3 million to the NFT uh, CryptoZoo holders not the actual people who bought the crypto zoo tokens two separate categories the nft people most of them they got their money back after logan paid with his own money 1.3 million dollars and the crypto zoo people who actually paid for the token bought the coin and waiting for the egg to hatch so they can get a very rare cat mix with a penguin shark chakalaka boom booing with a bear and then their faces going together it's a whole it's a it was a weird ass game not only they didn't get their weird ass mysterious animals but they were sat down in their chairs with their dick in their hands waiting for logan paul to pay them back but he never did now if you watch the coffeezilla part one video if you haven't watched it at all let me just refresh your memory and give you some memory in the situation logan paul he said he has a game that he invested one million dollars in and he can't wait for people to invest in people invested millions of dollars into this coin and when he came to hatch day people thinking they'll be making millions of millions of dollars and next day they'll be sitting in the bahamas and sipping cocktails the co the egg never hatched wait you can't even hatch no it's i'm telling you it's just a picture there's nothing i could do with it you're kidding you can't hatch there's nothing i could do with it uh, you could ask you could ask any of those community guys that's uh, basically worth nothing and then in the coffeezilla it was explained that the developer stole the code ran to switzerland and asked for a million dollars because the developers were never paid in the first place and logan was blaming the developers for hijacking the code of the hatch and then but then coffeezilla got on a phone call with the developer and the developer said that we were never paid we were promised a million dollars and he never fucking paid us he wanted to just make his money and dip and that's when people started to panic because not only the egg didn't hatch on the day that it was supposed to within 24 hours the value of the coin dropped 64 percent and then logan paul went on a rant of blaming everyone else but himself saying that his team actually you know messed up this whole thing the developer stole the code that piece of shit you guys don't know the whole story okay it's deeper than you think uh, it's it's sad because of what I just said. Mm. There's so much going on behind the scenes. Like, dog, I'm not the bad guy here. Yeah, yeah. There's some actual 
motherfuckers out there. Meanwhile, it was at plain sight to the public that Logan was at fault over here. And what did Logan too do? He ghosted and then he appeared out of nowhere. And then he said that he has a really huge project he's working on. He's putting, it's, it's his biggest project ever. And people were like, oh, fuck. Okay, this is it, guys. It's finally going to hatch. I told you, mom. I told you we put our whole life saving. It's going to work out. And then he just came out and people, someone asked him, wait, is this big project of your life the, with the egg thing? He was like, no, 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 no. It's completely something else. I'll tell you about this project when uh, we get closer to launch. Yeah, yeah. This project of mine is going to be... Is that the thing with the egg? The, like the zoo? No, 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 no. Back. Anyways, long story short, in a whole year of research, Gavizilla dropped this three-part series about him. And then Logan Paul tried to fight him with suing him. And then later on, he came out and he apologized. Like, and he told everyone that he will be paying as much as people as he can. But on one condition, I will promise you a crypto zoo refund as long as you don't sue me. <laughs> and then right after he made his apology video saying, thank you, Coffeezilla, for making me realize my mistakes. And I will focus on giving money back. Coffeezilla posted this saying, Logan Paul is really the type of dude to thank you when you expose his scam then block you when you remind him to pay up. So Logan was taking his sweet ass time with the refund. It took him six to seven months to actually make the refund. But and Coffeezilla was up his ass, fingering his butthole. When are you going to shit that $1.3 million and actually pay up your the, the, the fans that you scammed? And according to Coffeezilla sources, his friends scammed his audience first before he had the chance to. And that's why now he's like, oh yeah, guys, by the way, I was no part of this. I had no idea this whole thing was happening. Even though if Coffeezilla never made a video about it, he was gonna just let it be buried and never ever talk about it. And since Coffeezilla actually spoke about the situation and exposed his friends who took all the money and ran away, Mr. Logan had a good excuse to blame it all on his friends and let them take the fall for it. Everything I said is obviously allegedly in case this video goes viral and Logan Paul won't be coming and knocking in my door, inshallah. But he says that it was the team's problem i had no idea you know that i got myself into this situation my friend even if you knew the developers and the people your team whoever decided to take all this money and dip and the whole coin end up being crashed and your fans losing millions and millions of dollars if you had no part in it you could have easily told people before this whole thing happens guys take your money out i thought this is going to be a real thing but ends up being some shady people in the team so take your money quickly. He could have easily just told them or just make an announcement on his Discord or all over social media warning people that take your money, take your losses, take whatever you have left and dip. Don't think about your losses. I'm sorry, I wasn't a part of this. I didn't know this was happening. Hopefully you didn't put your whole fucking life savings. You weren't that kind of an idiot. Anyways, he paid out $1.3 million. Now... Two weeks ago, he just came out of nowhere and he's saying that even though he said he's not going to sue Coffeezilla, thank you Coffeezilla for humbling me. He said that he's suing Coffeezilla for defamation. And to that, I'm saying, what the fuck were you thinking, Logan? It's like, it's intentionally he wants to embarrass himself and just take a big fat juicy shit on his whole reputation. He could have literally just let it all die, right? And just go on with his life. He paid. He's like, sorry, guys. Okay, no one's going to sue him now. And he's just going to dip. But he decided that he will be starring in the fourth movie of The Quiet Place. But instead of staying quiet, he ran in the middle of the street, screamed from the top of his lungs. Ah! Asking all the monsters to come all around them to have a conversation and tell them, this is my planet. I did nothing wrong. Why are you here to take it all away from me? But instead, the monsters eating and just slashing him into fucking pieces. The monsters pointed at him and everyone is just laughing at him. The monsters being the public. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole lawsuit. If you actually want a full detailed one, make sure to check out Atos' video. He went through it part by part. I'm going to leave the video's link in the description below. In this video, we're just going to go through the most important ones. Logan Paul's lawyer said Paul misjudged <coughs> Coffeezilla's motives. Even after Paul announced the buyback, Coffeezilla simply could not help himself from dipping back into the well that are proven so effectively in earning views, attention, and revenue. So he basically said he's a hungry person who is only here to shed on my reputation, share false news for his own gain. 
both from YouTube earning as well as the associate Patreon. In the summer of 2023 and continuing in 2024, CoffeeZilla began publishing additional YouTube videos, which he has also teased on HypeX former Twitter, in which he again repeatedly claimed to the public false allegations that Scriptazoo was a scam and fraud conceived of and you know just shitting on logan paul logan said paul's early experience with the disastrous japan episode taught him that the importance of humility and the importance of accountability 100 uh, he definitely learned to take responsibility of his actions 100 he definitely didn't dip on his whole community the second the whole thing just turned out to be a scam allegedly no, 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 no. he also said that while polls only ever had good intentions with crypto zoo and he worked hard overcome to many challenges the project faced not least which were true bad actors who sabotaged the project for their own personal gain this is what we talked about where he blamed the team and not himself paul does not shy away from acknowledging crypto zoo was his brain child 100 he cared so much about this project it's not like the scammer got scammed by his own friends allegedly obviously uh, allegedly did i say allegedly these actions have caused and continue to cause enormous harm to logan paul and his reputation the social media posts youtube videos that coffeezilla has posted since june of 2023 in which he continues falsely accused of paul for him being a scammer and have collectively been viewed for more than 15 million people at this point Paul has unfortunately concluded that CoffeeZilla will not stop to this course of conduct until he is too held account accountable. This is a strategy where a lot of people, especially on social media, they use the second you make a video that hurts their feelings, they're going to sue you. If a YouTuber, for example, is making a video hurting someone's feelings with the truth, the other person is who's richer and has much more accessibility, he's going to sue, threaten to sue that person. And usually in the situation, those people are going to take the video down down and say everything they made it was a joke guys I, I was just pranking just so they won't have to go to court and just lose shit ton of money if this was a whole attempt to scare coffeezilla off why go for seventy five thousand dollars go for millions and millions of dollars for ruining your reputation logan is your reputation worth only seventy five thousand dollars as a direct and proximate result of publication of false and defamatory june post this is when he posted and saying oh you made an apology but where's the people's money why the fuck are you paying up paul has suffered damages including injuries to reputation embarrassment humiliation emotional distress and economic damages in an amount that have been determined at trial long story short his feelings were hurt and he is trying his best just to bury coffeezilla from sharing the truth any further Honestly, shout out to CoffeeZilla for having this huge chunk of balls going after Logan Paul and not being afraid to lose money in case of a lawsuit. Bro definitely didn't bitch out. And what Logan is trying to do in this situation is he knows that CoffeeZilla is still going to come after him because he paid the NFT, but he didn't pay the tokens people. So he's trying to put him in a coffin and put nails in it. That is the only explanation I can think of because I know CoffeeZilla is not going to stop because this is content and money for him as well. Like he's not doing this out of goodness of his heart. And Logan Paul is just trying to prevent that from the future. But by doing this, he just shat on himself. He just took a big fat girthy juicy shit. He picked it up and he started chewing uh, chewing it in front of everyone on camera it's surprising to me how someone like logan paul can make this many mistakes in his career and still have a career it's truly shocking like do people not realize of the th numbers of things that he has done over the past years and people still choose to support him for some reason like honestly i like jake more than logan right now jake's super personality isn't that bad the slayer of senior citizens <laughs> but anyways let me know your thoughts in the comments below make sure to leave a like in this video if you're new here and welcome to the yapping sessions if you enjoyed this yapping session make sure to drop a sub let me know your thoughts in the comments below take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one